Henda Vareme Ne, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. It is another episode of Podcast and Chill. We're coming at you live from Cotton Lounge in Bryanston. And today I'm chilling with the beautiful, the talented, <laughs> Kelly Nontlantla Kumalo. Well, I was born in uh, Natal Spray. Okay. Gatleho. Moved down to KZN. Came back to Sprayed View. Mm. And... Uh, Started music while I was still in Sprayfield. Why did you move to KZN? It was ju- during the riots between oh. the ANC and the IFP. You that led to me quitting school. You quit school? I did. At grade 10. Wow, that's mm. brave at that time. I, I, I actually went to grade 10 like briefly. By March, I was out of school. So. What made you want to quit? I wasn't happy. Your career started on Crux Gospel Star. Yes. Did, was it, that was like idols back in the day, was it? Sort of I, I, gospel idols. Okay. Yeah. So who, what made you decide to go there? I saw, it, I saw it on TV. Yeah. And I'm like, now this is what I want to do. Not the boring stuff about school and stuff. So I saw, that on, I saw the ad on TV. And I decided to go. And but I broke into the industry with uh, Benisela. Oh, Benisela. Benisela. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That was big. It was so huge. It hit me so hard to a point where I woke up one day. I was like, is this really me or is it just me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, signed a contract. and um, Your first contract? My first contract, and it ended up at the place where I wasn't getting my gigging money, okay. my gigs monies. And what? Do you remember the first time you did your first line? I remember. I remember very well. I mean, how could you not remember something that ruined your life? Yeah. It it stays with you. Yeah. That day stays with you because you keep going back in your life. I wish I had not done that. Mm. But. It, Sometimes we go through battles that have nothing to do with us. Hmm. Unbroken curses. You know, uh, covenants that were entered into by people before us hmm. in our family tree. And you find out that the same problem is repeating itself. Wow. You know? And to a point where you pray, but you don't see results. Yes, yes. You work hard on, on bettering yourself as an individual, but you don't see resolve. But now it, you are not the problem. The problem started long ago. And now what's up to you is that you have to break those curses. Break the cycle. Break the covenants that were made on your behalf. Break. Never overqualify people. What does that even mean? You know, sometimes the, you look at the guy and he looks so handsome and you think he can be what you want in a relationship. Mm. You know, you fall for the looks. You fall for attention. For the wrong things. You, you, you fall for sweet words. And you, 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 you know, you, no, but God, guy. I don't trust you. I go through and you but shy, shy. But shy, shy. And you, 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 you think it's love. That's you overqualifying people into your life. You're giving them things that are, that they are not worthy of. Mm. That we live in a very broken society. Mm. People are broken to a point where it makes them feel better to break someone else. Yeah. You know, it somehow comforts them to break the next person so they can feel better about themselves. We live in the society we're no longer giving each other hugs. Hmm. We'd rather stab each other instead of giving each other hugs. Mm. So it just tells you where we are. Um, <laughs> album is out, and uh, and we're going to be releasing a song called "Strong Woman," mm. featuring Brenda Dumbo, and we are on top of that book. Oh, you you're doing a book? Yes, it's 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 based on how society views women. Because people can't treat you like that and, and, and I mean unless they see the power in you. Yeah. Because sometimes the enemy sees what's in you before you even realize it. 
the child to squash it before it comes to full, you know. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.